Hello, Dr. Mintz here with a uh, pretty quick little case. Patient has pain and get comfortable with those adrenal glands. Sometimes you go up here and you see a bunch of lines and you say, which is the adrenal? Well, you follow most of these and you'll see that they connect to the spleen. They're coursing under the pancreas or the renal artery or renal vein. And you may get little tiny even adrenal vessels. Maybe those are something like that. So you have to learn to dissociate those from what you're seeing that's adrenal. Here's adrenal, and there's the IVC. It almost looks like they're joined, but they're just against one another. So here you can see the typical wishbone kind of configuration of the adrenal gland. And you go up through it there. Okay, and so that's adrenal. Look at the left side. This is a typical appearance of mild hydronephrosis with some perinephric stranding. Now it's subtle, but you can see a little stranding around this kidney compared with right. And sometimes they, people have just little lines that's probably fibrosis or just thickening of the fascia a little bit. But that looks dilated mildly and you have a stone in the proximal left ureter. At this point, when it's that proximal, you can see this is renal pelvis here. And so if we go down, 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 I would still call, it, call this ureteral pelvic junction. It's basically right where the pel renal pelvis joins the proximal ureter, the UPJ. Okay, so that's a simple finding there. The interesting finding here, however, is this kidney here. What's wrong with that? That's malrotation. Malrotation, it is because the kidneys during embryology ascend from the pelvis and ordinarily undergo a rotation such that the hilum and renal pelvis are directed medially. In this case, that rotational component of the motion did not occur, so the pelvis is pointed anteriorly. You can read a little bit about that. Nice, short, succinct description in uh, the requisites textbook, page 55, and a couple good images uh, of that anomaly really no significance. So here's a kidney with renal malrotation. Pretty common, pretty ordinary. If you see it on, a, on a, an, IU, an IVP, you might notice that the calyces, some of them are actually medial to the renal hilum. Okay, renal malrotation. Just for fun, let's just take a look and see how that looks on coronals here. Okay, kind of weird, kind of interesting. Here you see the normal left side. Look how beautiful that is. UPJ, ureteral pelvic junction. You can see how it tapers right down to that fullness. And then you look at this side and it's like, wait, that's just funny looking. Okay, another point too, by the way, is to get comfortable with following that ureter. It can be hard, especially if it's not dilated. So you have to get used to looking in this messy situation here in the renal hilum, sorting out, just say, okay, where is the ureter actually coming out? This looks like it's got, got some renal artery and renal vein in there. There's still a poochy looking renal pelvis. You follow it down, there's the stone in the UPJ. Can you follow it distal to that? Well, you know it's there, and you know it's there, but it's so collapsed. And here it here is here. So very hard to find. It's, it's in here somewhere. But keep working on it. Keep trying to find that ureter to follow its course as far as you're able. This would be a really tough one because of the proximal obstruction. Okay, renal malrotation.